HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Today on HSC News, we will be taking a look back at this past cult season. Good morning, HSC. I'm Alex Morlock. And I'm Drew Lima, and here is your news for Friday, February 6th, 2015. Today's news is brought to you by Hotbox Pizza. Don't forget that today is a half day. Get half off sticks with your school ID. Yep, half day, half off sticks. Fisher's location only. Today's three things you need to know are Police in Washington, D.C. have arrested Indianapolis Colts linebacker Dequell Jackson and charged him with simple assault after an argument over a parking space. A police report shows Jackson was arrested on the misdemeanor charge Tuesday. The Fishers Police Department investigated an early morning shooting that took place at Cumberland Crossing early Wednesday morning. While the shooting appears to be accidental, according to police reports, events like this are rare in Fishers. President Barack Obama is traveling to Ivy Tech Community College to talk about how to prepare Americans to earn higher wages, the importance of making paychecks of working families go further, and keep keeping high paying jobs in America. Nick Ricks and I had an opportunity to take us back through the Indianapolis Colts 2014 season highlights. Here are some of the important moments in the season. The England Patriots are back in the Super Bowl again, back in the place. The Colts season the way, may not have ended the way they wanted it, but it was a season to remember. Sets up, he rolls to the right, throws With the Colts Kobe only having some late draft picks, they did very well in the draft by drafting two young talents. The Colts acquired wide receiver Dante Moncrief, who had over 400 yards receiving. The Colts also acquired rookie from Ball State, Jonathan Newsom, who led rookies in forced fumbles. The Colts also picked up a multitude of free agents this year, with Dequell Jackson at linebacker, Hakeem Nix at wide receiver, and Mike Adams at safety. I think the biggest acquisition was Dequell Jackson. He was top 10 for tackles in the NFL, and before we got him, we were really inconsistent in the linebacker position. So he really uh, secured that middle linebacker spot, and I think made the defense better. These key acquisitions to the Colts put in some great numbers. Hakeem Nix had 38 receptions for 405 yards and four touchdowns. Dequell Jackson had 82 tackles, one forced fumble, and a Pro Bowl selection. And Mike Adams had two forced fumbles and five interceptions, and was also selected to the Pro Bowl. Tough as they come at the quarterback. The Colts' third-year quarterback, Andrew Luck, also had a fantastic season. He put up 4,761 yards passing, 40 touchdowns, and a 61.7 completion rating. Andrew Luck was also the first quarterback to throw for over 350 yards in five consecutive road games. Luck also passed for more yards in his first three seasons than any other quarterback. He threw for 12,688 yards. This performance earned Andrew Luck yet another Pro Bowl selection. Luck led his team to an 11-5 record and an AFC Championship game. With the ending of this season, we asked some Colts fans what their thoughts were on the season and what they're hoping for for next season. I think it was I think it was a good season. I think the Colts took a step in the right direction. Uh, every you know, some people say I know Coach Jacobs doesn't think you take steps. But I think you take steps. Now, I think that there's some things that they didn't do as well as they did last year. a better running back other than Trent Richardson, who was also a very big disappointment. This season leaves building blocks for next season and maybe even a Super Bowl. But only time will tell. This has been Andrew Lima and Nick Ricks for HSE TV. A nine-year-old girl was shot Tuesday evening on the city's northwest side. Sinai Miller and her two younger sisters were preparing to sell Girl Scout cookies in their neighborhood when shots were fired from a passing car. Police believe a stray bullet hit Miller. Emergency medical crews and the girl was stable when they transported her to Riley Hospital for Children at IU Health. She later returned home. That is all we have for you today, HSC. Thank you for watching. We will see you back here on Monday for your weekly update. Don't forget to go follow us on Twitter at HSC TV and check out hscnews.com for all news HSC. Have a fantastic Friday.